Welcome, MC2 Burleson here with the Secretary of the Navy, the Honorable Ray Mabus, to talk about changes coming to the Navy's fitness policies in the NAV admin next week. Sir, thank you for being here. This Sunday, we'll have an episode of The Rundown detailing the changes in the NAV admin. But for our viewers now, can you tell them a little bit about what these changes will focus on? You know, what we're trying to move from is a physical fitness test twice a year to a culture of fitness so that you're fit all the time, you're fit to do your job, you're, you're a better sailor. Uh, our goal is to keep sailors. I mean, last year we discharged about 1,500 sailors for PFT. I mean, that's a huge number. We had a tremendous investment in all these sailors. And they had a big investment in us. So we want to make sure that we keep that investment and we keep it going both ways. Mr. Secretary, when you talk about people being the Navy's most important asset, what benefits do you expect the Navy to receive from investing in its people through the fitness changes and other recent personnel reforms? Well, <clears throat> what the Navy's gonna get is, number one, we're gonna get a better fighting force. Uh, we're gonna get a more fit force. We're gonna get a force that is fit for their jobs and not just for physical fitness tests. Number two, we're gonna get we're gonna keep the huge investment we make in people. Many of the changes you outlined in your Naval Academy speech and here on the show were so dramatic that I'm sure that some sailors were skeptical of if, if they even at all happened. But we've seen steady implementation. You said you expand maternity leave and a few weeks ago you expanded maternity leave to 18 weeks. And now with the changes to the fitness policy coming out on Monday, what can you tell us about the pace of these changes and what's next? Well, I understand that people might have thought, well, yeah, talk's a good game, unclear if anything's gonna happen. But I'll tell you, we've done return to leave, we've done this, and by the end of the year, we will have implemented virtually all the things I talked about at Annapolis. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna keep doing this, we're gonna set very stringent timelines so that we make sure we do it. Uh, so. Uh, if that was in my speech, if it was one of those personnel actions, expect to see it implemented, uh, if it hadn't been already, very soon. Well, sir, thank you for coming on the show. MC2, appreciate being here. Thank you. Look for Sunday's episode to detail the changes coming to the Navy's fitness policies with the NAV admin announcement coming out on Monday.